just forgot who's producing today, though. There's no way he's Watching listening to smoke. me. No, Not yeah, a chance. Griffin is. He's hanging. Yeah, he, he'll, he's doing what he wants. We're just all along for the ride. <laughs> no, we love Griffin these parts. So we'll see, because again, as mentioned, not only is this what you would expect from Sentinels, but a crew are readjusting into this composition themselves. So with Sentinels on the attack, where are the ideas designed, especially around these two opening Viper walls? And to be fair, for a crew, this is a very far forward Viper wall through mid. So yeah. it gives them the ability to kind of play through it and around it with the blanket to back up if needed, which they may need to, because Tense is already on site and he will find one. But the trades are looking good for the accrued defense. Honestly, they've read this play through Hookah pretty darn nicely. The defenders yep. still playing long have kept the help away. But the regrowth will not allow enough self-healing, and with that, it's just down to pancakes. Yeah, they kind of got boxing over towards that portal outside garden. It had already traded on through sight. So now it is just pancakes. Low health players out there. It's not impossible, but yeah, Dapper swings out for the headshot, and that'll do it. Just take the first round. Ability to try to clear out that position towards that garden area. So we'll see. And it looks like Sentinels will try to establish some presence over through Shower. And how about this? Hold on a second. Tense gets the opener and then has to respond to the needed teleporter play. The no scope's not quite hitting, but Dapper will be there to make sure that everything is kept honest. And with that, Sentinels in a 4v2. Yeah, pretty quick exchange that's going to favor Sentinels. We'll have Shower's control now. Have the two man count. Clearing out the Trailblazer. Getting all kinds of space. Everything smoked off the way that they would want. So there should be a textbook oh, yeah. win for Sentinels. Absolutely should. I mean, the crew is trying to play this through lamps, and there's just really not a lot of space to work with here, especially with the lacking weaponry. Oguchi will try to hold his position for as long as possible. It'd be a 1v4 if he were to pull off a miracle. But I use that word very selectively because that's exactly what it would be. Sentinels players all around will also provide a difficult exit from this position if he were to even want to try to play for any trail away kills and yeah i think sentinels have a pretty good idea that well he very well may still be in you all here so gucci will do what he can has to make his move here's the footsteps does he have the timing to get into position to find anything no everyone will teleport her through gucci will <laughs> try to dash there to see what he can do nothing in play here so it's not just full SMGs or something like that. Well, that's true. And you know that Tens is still always a threat with the Marshall in hand. Sky Smoke will drop in. Again, a crew looking to challenge this position at B-Long, even through the Aldron. It works out really nicely for him. A free first blood. Neon looking to get healed up by the Sky. That will work out okay. And Sentinels are... They, they kind of have to respect this place. There's so much utility to keep them at bay, and that Trailblazer will reestablish that. that yeah, there is no passing here. Bro, that Trailblazer did a 1080 here. in midair, bro. He's out there playing X Games. You see yeah, that? Tony Hawk. I need I a replay of that. that. That man was spinning. <laughs> that was unreal. Didn't know a Trailblazer could have moves like that. As we are seeing Sentinels try to okay. force their way into Garden right now. Gucci locking off the Hookah access point there with the smoke. Triple facing from the container, and I mean, the trigger happy Sentinels are winning their fights this time. Yeah, sure are. Oh, yeah, Neon is completely stuck. No utility to bail him out. Yeah, he will be taken off, no problem. So, Pancakes and Zack, decisions to be made here. 2v4 Vipers pit to navigate through if you do want to play for a retake. Seconds left. And that just may be, honestly, just may be off the table. You could just play for eggs at this point in time. Yeah, I mean, that's a great insurance policy to just drop that thing down. Surprised he used it now, but I guess he's confident he can keep building it back up so to get multiple uses out of it for the half. It's also just like a nice way to make sure you win this round. There's like no chance of any tomfoolery. Man, I'm a boomer saying that. Good God. <laughs> tomfoolery? Oh, no. <laughs> I've outed myself for sure. Chat probably always had their questions about it, but I've just given them the answer. <laughs> this guy. Look at this guy. Just a straight boomer. Look at this from Sentinels. Good awareness here as far as their exit is concerned. They'll safely get into the defensive spawn, and there will be no further point of contact. So, I mean, are we inspired yet by what Sentinels are doing? With, I mean, really, that gun, the, the next biggest contest point. And we're getting the same Viper's Wall round after round after round defensively, and it doesn't really seem like it's causing too much deterrence around Puka overall. Rushing at short A is an answer. Yeah. You know, trying to find a way to be proactive, kind of just... 
a stalemate breaks out in that direction. Sentinel's forced now just to be quick on the trigger on B, it seems. And the smoke's down towards elbow and back calls. B's actually open. The crew having to play for a bit of a retake. They've been kind of caught out of position to defend it up front. Sentinels will take full advantage of that as the spike will make its way into sight with the smoke still in play. Mm. Molotov kind of misses the mark, only really clears out double stack box. Oh, you do not want to poke through this one-way smoke. Oh, do you? Okay, hold on a second. Zach actually still wins the first opening gunfight. Now here comes the pinch play. Blast backing forward is the rest of the crew, but once more, it's just too tight of alleyways to work through with Sentinels post plant positions. Try as they may with Bucky. Although, now it's Spectre. And now it's Stinger. And now it's a Bucky again. All right, man. You sound like an Old Spice commercial. Look at the horse. Now back yeah. at me. Now back now to back the horse. Hey, they're not a sponsor. You can give them that free shout out. Yeah, that's fair. Instead, shout out to me. I will. Oh, okay. I was about to say this See Bucky ya. is poking through this sky smoke, and it may have landed the mark, but Ten's largely unaffected by it. And as Sentinels just continue to run their way through Hookah, it continues to be an ongoing nightmare for a crew to deal with. 5-0 start for Sentinels. Obviously, you know, our, got an alt in play. A couple just one orb away ahead. from an additional alt. Half full weaponry. Yeah, they're just not really contesting anything, right? They're giving up Hookah. They're giving up showers. They're just playing very passive. I mean, it just feels love that free space. Yeah, as they, it feels like they're trying to exhaust Sentinels of their utility to try to clear some of these spaces as shrouded by the Viper's Swall, but it's just not really... I mean, like you mentioned, Sentinels are just walking into these spaces because they know they're not being contested. Like, this playthrough B-Long is just a walk-up. No flashes. No smoke. It's just walking through. Seekers are going to be earned up. That's going to be the immediate gut check call. Did they try to go for Kanpeki in this position over through Elbow? No, they'll let him stay. Looking to plant first. Which that will be uncontested. So, oh, actually, no, it won't be. Orbital Strike will come through with the paint shells. That'll deny. Is there a play to move forward, though? A crew are still holding back into spawn. So, once again, utility is out, and it really hasn't done too much as far as the retake is concerned. Showstopper punished as Neon can only find one. And the rest of Sentinels now go back to their own fragging ways. Everyone's just hiding in corners or trying to blindly make it through alleyways, and it's just not working out for a crew. Yeah, it's one of those things with the Orbital Strike and Paint Shells stop the plant for a time, but it didn't allow them to get that space onto site to cover that ground. I think the ult from Neon was what they were hoping would give them a wedge back in, and while he gets a frag, no one else really gets out the back halls. And so Sentinels just kind of hold Hookah. They're holding on to site. They had back halls and elbow covered, and the crew just don't have a way back in. And this just yeah. comes down to, like, a difference in map fluency. Little to work with. And I think the biggest thing is if that timeout is just as far as, okay, where we're putting our players just isn't working, I hope that there's more talked about than that because I think the bigger issue is not just who's playing where, but can we actually put some early contests together? Because yep. that, I think, was the more evident problem of the two yeah. that we had kind of listed out. You have two options. Either rounds. you got to yeah. start denying some real estate on the map early or you have to have some better coordinated retakes. You know, one or the other. One of them has to give. And right now we're not seeing either of them. It's just Sentinels keeping up this up-tempo play style and bulldozing their way through the entire map. Whatever site they pick, they've had no problem taking it. Yep. It's mostly been B. Well, a crew will at least tally up to one. Yeah. And Tens is one away from also covering the entire crew by himself. So this alt will control shower. So here you go. It's a little bit of pivot. They're controlling a part of the map. But look at this. Sentinels don't care. They're looking to fight through this. Yeah. Look at Trail Barely all took away. They're just pushing them off. And they're taking all it. it takes is a recon bolt and a trailblazer to get out of the Viper's pit. Uh, they have to Snake consider the decay. Push back. Yeah. Snake Bite pushed them back as well there, and so that will get reclaimed by Zachary. Now Sentinel's trying to pressure short A. Trailblazer gets deleted there from Kenpeki. Or Jeho Jova, rather, as we are going to see Sentinel start gathering up here for this A split. Owl drone comes through the Viper's Pit yet again, and now it's going to just start speeding up short A. The first elimination is good. Shazam is using this Hunter's Fury to once again clear out the Vipers, but they thought they had the beat on where exactly Zack wanted to play. But Zack has kind of voluntarily allowed the Viper's Pit to be extinguished as the spike will be planted. So it's going to be a 4v4. Retake has been a problem here for a crew. Flashing out of halls. 
a second time, there's an opportunity to at least take down Ken Pecky freely, and they'll be able to do that, at least for now. But there's still so much more post-plant consideration you have to work through. And it's just Amtali's one inside the dark cover. Sick is in a bit of hurt here as he has to shroud and step away from the recon bolt. No attempt for a defuse as of yet. You still have another player in Dapper holding over to Showers, which now he has to reveal. Viper will come through. He tries to stay alive through it, but it'll be Giovanni for the triple, pushing through to make sure Dapper can never pull the weapon out. And that'll be enough time for a defuse and a crew will get on the board. Yeah, it really just came down to them being able to eventually push out yeah. Um But still a lot of ground left to gain back. You know, we'll still have a very comfortable lead here. No doubt about that. They're not going to be worried for quite a while. Pancakes needs to get on the board here with this operator. Establish the threat. Boombot Trailblazer on opposite sides of the map will largely be negated. But Sentinels once more just kind of walk back up through B long. Same wall that we saw in the opening about six rounds and Pancakes oh. will miss the first shot. That is not good news if you're a crew. Now yep. you've got Pancakes trapped in elbow and a player that has to stay with him. So as this reveal comes out, Darts are through, and oh my, what a shot that is from Tens. Takes down Neon, and now A is absolutely as susceptible as ever to this approach from Sentinels. Yeah, they've put a lot of threat on this, and now they're starting to pressure Short A as well. Sick will find his mark over towards Lance. It opens up that second route onto A site. Jova just playing back, getting riddled by bullets through spam, and eventually finished off by Shazam. And that's all she wrote. Sentinels again plow their way through this A site, collecting every frag along the way. Spike Only point. losing three health points total for the team on that take. This Kampeki takes a little bit of chip damage, but other than that, a clean win for Sentinels. Man, and I, I, I feel like all of our analysis around what's happened in these first two maps comes down to a first point and the first point here is a crew is again just letting so much space go to free mm -hmm. that and they're getting whittled down too much before they could really even get the numbers together for a good retake yeah and when they have been able to get the numbers together they still just haven't really had that really threatening retake that you weren't able to see handled by sentinels they've had all their all their angles covered. We saw last map. Very different story. Okay, well this time we are going to get some contest over through Hookah, but Neon doesn't have a bailout plan. No one's there to counter flash to get him out. And that'll be another free first blood for Sentinels and Hookah control all in one move. Oh boy. Well, you do have some play through out. showers. Yeah, that's yeah. at least a bit of good news here. Difference is, though, Dapper able to kind of lurk his way up through short A. And so he's able to maybe get a little backstab off here. And I'm sure once he clears lamps and starts getting towards the fences, they'll certainly realize that a flank's possible here. And hopefully relay that to his teammates who are still kind of stuck over here towards the guard. But with man advantage, this flank's coming in, but so is Dapper's. Which flank will have more impact? That's going to be how this round's determined. Oh, Spike? It's yeah. Through. This flank's I've gonna not find anything then, and Seekers will help find it out as well. Oh my, but Zach's timing! Oh no, he has the knife out! He thinks that the hit is much sooner than it's gonna be, and now Dapper, who's pushed through on the opposite side of this, will completely stop a crew from rotating back from B. Oh, and there's no way you get back well. through mid-market either. I, I mean, Tens is here to deal with pancakes. Oh gosh. Yeah. That was brutal. Ascent certainly a map that's been kind of tricky lately for Sentinels. That's definitely worth noting this year. The crew me laws look sharp on Ascent yeah. lately. That's very true, and they did during stage one quals for sure. Mm. Well, you hate to rule out the potential of what could still happen. It's just just as convincing as Split was uh, for a crew. The same can now be said about Sentinels. Pancakes, Hunter's Fury flashing through that. It was an opportunity to move, but even still, with all that utility and attention, they cannot find First Blood. Guji will fall mid-sand. And now it's down to the last two defenders at B to try to put together any sort of an initial contest of the spike plant. 
And Recon Ball comes through, so does Paranoia. Really giving them some space on the site. There's still one defender in container, that's Jova, but he's getting absolutely spammed down to low HP and now mauled. Leon trying to fight back here with the Sheriff, catches a couple. Kampeki finally silences him, but only a three on two and low HP for Kampeki. But that's a great op shot from Shazam. Wow. Not the best. <laughs> I took a glance at it. Give me a break. That, you, you, made, you made the cardinal sin of any commentator. What is it? Doing math on way. broadcast. Yeah. Thank you. But 15, 18 doesn't really make much of a difference. The fact still remains that there just is not a lot to talk about here for a crew. Finally, okay. we start to see some aggression. This works. And I, I, I just am curious why this wasn't part of the equation earlier. Yeah, I mean, they got aggressive at hookah and showers a couple of times, but long B has never really been something they've pushed down. They maybe fought garden a couple of times, so forward on it, but never a big push like that. But certainly a good catch. I have to wonder if it's come a little too late being down this far. So we're just going to see Sick and Company roll out. Seekers are going to yeah. come out for a crew trying to see if they can retake the site. At least they have main advantage this time. They haven't had that in the past in this situation. Can you contest this plant from happening? Flash on the way forward. Here comes the showstopper as well. The pens with knives. No, not going to be better than the rocket. Dashed into that rocket. Yeah. And a file. Okay, here we go. How about it? Prime giving flawless to finish out the first half for a crew, but it's a 2-10 tally. Nothing that is going to feel all that great. Fair through and through here. We'll see if a crew can maybe collect this pistol and try to battle back here on this attacking side. Yeah. Has to start here, though. You, you have to win this pistol. Yes. And hey, we do know that even if losing pistols, a crew does like to kind of force buy into SMGs in their second round. So that's something to keep an eye out for, even if they do lose this. But setting up for what looks to be just a wall up, five man hit forward. There's the wall portion of the equation. Here comes the second. Sick is in a position to try to deny this, but Paranoia is the second thing thrown out. May not make much of a difference because Tens was able to back away, stay safe, and he knows he's got players around the back, and that will work. Yeah, that was a brilliant utility combination there from Sentinels. Paranoia comes through. Smoke on it. The full Cindy's. Is that what they call it these days? Uh, it's actually a disc golf term, so sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> but it works. Like... Full send is, you know, that works for everything. No, I, I understand that. I've never heard someone say full sendies. But there's <laughs> the commitment to beat. Dapper's a bit stuck here at Hookah, and yeah, okay. So good utility usage to make sure they isolate the kill. Spike not being planted okay. as of yet, though, and Sick is still nearby to threaten. Tens on the early long wrap back through Spike B long. Planted. May not there's anticipate, no though, though, that Pancakes is covered in this corner. Yeah, so it's a problem. bit individualistic here for Sentinels as Shazam will fall. Pancakes will see the barrel, and that would be an easy follow if you would assume, and it is. Leaving a sick for a 1v3, and the swing will be it. So, okay, crew, once again, use these. It, man. I feel like the crew just, they have to start creating multiple problems for Sentinels to have to adjust to if they were to get a chance to get back to another eight rounds in a row or so. Mm -hmm. It's not bad to start, though. Trailblazer will connect. Allows Ken Pecky a chance to trade away his life, but that's still a favorable Launching engagement smoke. towards the crews. They go into a 4v3, and the Sky Smokes will allow them an opportunity to get the spike planted without contest. Okay, easy plant here. Sentinels looking to try to retake with just a couple of classics in these back calls. Able to split one on the pancakes, though. That gives them a weapon in hand, perhaps, and they smoke down and start fainting the spike diffuse. <laughs> He's holding on to it. He's holding on to it. Oh, but the Rumble Strike is called absolutely the last though? second. And it will, it may not matter if it's at how Oh, wait a second. Shazam pulls a double. I was going to say there's a 1v3 right there at the oh, end. It's... That was interesting for a second there. If, if Sentinels would have somehow pulled that one off, that would have been, been pretty nuts. Yeah. Oh my, okay. Tens playing forward gets rewarded. Smoke to get him back. A crew still looking to threaten. And actually, as there is an elimination through B Long, Giovanni is able to slip through the teleporter back over to A. But with that kill towards B Long, it's kind of a double teleporter situation where a crew have bailed from mid A in towards Sands. And 
now kill noise to try to create some movement onto the Sentinel's defense. Yeah, starting to claw their way back over here towards B side. There is a bit of a double guard set up here from Sentinels with Dapper and Sick. Kind of leaving Hookah open. But it could work out in their favor. They have a little bit of a crossfire set up, but it gets broken apart there as Neon takes down Sick. Now it's just Dapper. They don't check the corner. He's able to get one, not the second. Good trade there from Pancakes. Gives them a three on two post plant scenario on this B site. No, oh, the shock dart lands from downtown. Oh, Tins got destroyed by that. The timing, <laughs> unreal. That's wow. one of those pancakes. He he looks back on and that's gonna feel good. He's like, yeah. That's like one of those like just chance ones you happen to toss Absolutely. out there. You're like, ah, oh, maybe that'll do something. And you see the kill feed, you're like, huh. Sick. Throw that one out more often. <laughs> yeah, dude. There the Zam has been shouldered, and with the operator being collected, I imagine that that will be about the end of any further engagements from either side as a crew would desperately love to start building up a bank, obviously, for this potential comeback. And that will be the case. Everyone will separate into corners. And honestly, for a crew, it's just so much better in the early rounds. Obviously, different side of the spike here. True. Yep. Facts only. Well, Sentinels are actually going to try to threaten the outsides of the map here. They're going to get tens with the operator still being held on to, to a position to where he cannot just find a kill and get out. But if he misses, he has the ability to potentially go back through the teleporter if these two other defenders at A stay showers, but not the case. So now we start to play forward. Aldrone is out. Trailblazer to counter. And no, the Aldrone will not see Tenz's position, so he will continue to sneak forward. A first blood here would be, be huge. absolutely massive. Sees the corner oh. cross, and he lives with one HP somehow. Yeah, gonna get at least regrowth there by Ken Pecky. And this is gonna prop now the big short A push. They know this slide's a bit vulnerable due to the commitment of resources over towards Long B. Sick trying to stay alive over towards Showers. It'll do more than that. He finds one with them. That's Neon down. Shazam's still alive back. as well doing his chip damage with Shock Darts. But Gucci and Pancakes do finally grab on the control. Oh, and Tens has got coming through the smoke looking for an angle. And as the teleporter gets used to go back to B, it leaves Dapper on his lonesome in top heaven. Pistol fight with Giovanni. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Like that. <laughs> Max. But the thing about this is now you've got a bank. You have to contest this operator. You cannot allow Tens to have this for free again still. So now yeah. you've got a crew moving forward to try to take this out of hand. Dapper sees the first, backs up, and, well, he'll very quickly recognize that there is not much of an exit here. So a crew doing what they do. You start breaking a little bit of a sweat. Oh, yeah. No longer is it a foregone conclusion that this map is over in a sense on the horizon. Now you got to work for it. Yeah, absolutely. And a ton of ultimates for what it's worth, by the way, for both teams. Sentinels will pull the trigger first by using the Viper Spit mid, but the Hunter's Fury will actually clear through B long. Kanpeki is actually still committing forward. No exit available as he tried to flash Chow, and that's not going to work out. So huge numbers advantage now for a crew. They've got who can control. They got B long control. Pancakes is watching for the rotation. Even though he misses, he will give the information to Neon, who will follow up and make sure Tens is denied. And Dapper being tagged is no longer a part of the play. So our attention has to go to Shazam. If he were to want to make a go for this 2v5, it would be by trying to make a play forward first. And I just don't know if that's even an option anymore. Nah, certainly not. Trying to step out and see if he can catch something. Recon Bolt going to get the void here. He's getting pushed, though. Doesn't get any information out of that Bolt. The Shock Darts his way out. And they will just maintain these two rifles. And that's pretty pivotal. That's pretty much going to be the only firepower they have next round. Or will it? Shazam going to yeah. run down. May not be able to carry that. Neon probably going to get blindsided, though. So Dapper will definitely maintain his Phantom. Also, perfectly loses himself to avoid Pancakes, who's flanking through spawn. Shazam trying to hold on here for dear life, but no, they both fall, so nothing. That's good news. It's safe. I feel like you've seen, also... you seen a couple of cracks. You've seen a couple of like yeah, little sloppy abs bits. Absolutely. And honestly, for a crew, I just didn't, I didn't even realize it until just now. Like they won that round of only spending a single ultimate. So like efficiency wise, mm -hmm. not only do you win the full buy, but you only spend one of what was at the time three ultimates that were charged up. So yep. you're extending you your lifeline as long as possible. Yeah, and you can kind of spread these alts out for a couple more rounds. Like, you know, you use Neon Showstopper to get an entry on a site. You use Post Plant with Viper Spit yeah, from Zachary, yeah. but then you still have Orbital Strike. 
and seekers for maybe another round for entering. So you could definitely get a lot out of these. Deploying drone. The wait on this round is a massive one for a crew. You would love to do this cleanly. All drone will be flashed and it won't really see too much outside of just Camp Pecky. Yeah. Camp Pecky dancing around a little bit there at guard and trying to pull an op shot, but none fired. Actually seeing a crew play this pretty passively. You know, they yeah. really haven't taken any I've ground anywhere other than poking at Long B. Seekers are going to come out, though, to help threaten some control over towards hookah position. As well as lead a couple of players up through short A, which is their intended target. Oh, here we go, though. Tens has got knives out. He's got to connect with these. Hits the first, no problem. Denies any further information off the recon bolt. And the Hunter's Fury will be trying to use to try to clear out this Viper's pit. I don't believe it hit anybody, though. So now no. the spike is looking to be playing a tens to channel through this. He wants to! He finds the kill, but the spike! It does not get planted fully! The kills are still coming through, but the time is becoming an issue! Neon fueling the rush! He throws out the showstopper to find the kill! Spike has to be held! And it's not gonna go down! A thrifty round for Sentinel! It would mean that, of course, Ascent would be our decider. And tens wants to try to take an opening and peek once more down towards B-Long. And he may get some timing here. Ah, uh, yeah, the uh, Trailblazer, I am sure, surely saw this. Or did it? Flash. Maybe not. Oh, Orbital Strike, no dash. Can he get out in time? Yes. But the first yeah, blood's still collected. And Pecky flashed the Trailblazer, I think, so it didn't yeah. actually get the view on Tens there. Tens just oh, top container, gone. catches Zachary there. And this is looking like the beginning of the end. There is. Sky Smokes are down though. When wait, a crew just spammed through it. Find a kill. 3v4 is still doable. Dapper's playing into Hookah, which is a spot that is largely going to be just overall an advantage for Sentinels to hold on to as Dapper comes through. More teammates rotating from A. We'll take Hookah, but the teleporter awareness play will allow a crew a chance to get back over to A from oh. the shadows. Sick. He's going to commit to playing up top and trying to stop this. There's the flash. Opening peaks will come through in sixth position was perfect. A double, and now Sentinel's one kill away from sending it to a third map. Oh, what an alt. That was so well done from Sick. 30 seconds left. Wow. Defenders win. What a map. Started off all Sentinels, a crew.